Dr. G, and I just wanted to check in with you today to talk to you a little bit about turmeric, or turmeric as some people call it, which is a spice that's gaining more and more popularity as being useful in treating inflammation. Now, as I've talked to you before, inflammation is something that's really important for our body's health. That's how we treat any kind of disease. We have a normal inflammation response that allows our body to heal us. The problem is we have chronic or constant inflammation because we're constantly exposing our body to the wrong elements, especially foods, we can create a problem where we have a constant inflammatory state, which actually hurts our bodies and causes all sorts of diseases, anywhere from autoimmune disease like lupus to cancers, depression, all sorts of things that we really want to start helping our bodies recover from, and we can do naturally. So turmeric is something that's been around for ages. Uh, you hear about it in all sorts of complementary medicine for thousands of years. And it comes from a plant. It's actually a type of, it's from the ginger family. But the concentrated ingredient in it that's active is called curcumin. So while there's been articles about it for many years, there's more and more actual clinical studies out there looking at humans who are taking it compared to humans taking other medications and seeing how they do. And there's one study that I just read that I thought was really powerful, even though it was done on a small scale. They took 45 people with rheumatoid arthritis. Now, rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease that is extraordinarily painful and debilitating. It causes continued degeneration of the joints and people have a terrible, terrible time becoming disabled often as time progresses. Now the medications that treat it can help lower the inflammation, but the problem is the medications have pretty powerful side effects uh, that often feel just as bad or worse than the disease itself and even side effects such as death. So while we want to help people have a better life, the best thing we can do is actually decrease the inflammation in a more natural way. So one of the things that I teach that I still say is the most important way to treat inflammation is to eat a low inflammation diet. But while you're trying to get your inflammation under control as you're adding more kale and getting rid of the animal products, something that you can use in the meantime is turmeric or curcumin. So what happened to these people with rheumatoid arthritis? Well, 45 people with rheumatoid arthritis were split into three groups. One group got just curcumin or the turmeric compound. One group got the standard anti-inflammatory medication. And the third group got both. Well, what was really fascinating about these results is the people that did the best were the people who were just taking the turmeric. They had dramatic decreases in both joint inflammation and disease activity with zero side effects. Zero side effects, that's unheard of. What's even more interesting to me is that the group that had the turmeric and the medication had less side effects than the group that took medication alone. So turmeric might actually even protect the body from getting exposed to toxic compounds or getting side effects from toxic compounds, perhaps protecting the gut in some way. I'm not really sure at this point, but it shows that even if you're taking medication, turmeric can help decrease the disease activity, decrease your inflammation, and possibly prevent side effects. So what if you don't have rheumatoid arthritis? It still might be helpful if you have depression, if you have a, a cold and you have inflammation in your system, uh, if you have lupus, any kind of disease that's inflammatory based, which really is most of them, turmeric might be of some benefit for you. So what do you do? How do you take it? Well, one way that you can just add more turmeric into your diet so that you get more of this curcumin in your system by adding it to spices in all your different foods. Another way is through tea. Now, some suggest that since turmeric does not absorb as well as other things when you're just eating it plain, ways to enhance absorption would be to add a dash of pepper and some fat because it's fat soluble. So for example, you can make a tea where you can put a teaspoon of turmeric some warm almond milk, and then add a dash of pepper, some agave for flavor, I like about two tablespoons, and about a tablespoon of coconut oil. Mix that all together and it's actually a pretty pleasant tea. I hope you enjoy your tea, I hope you have the best of health, and I look forward to seeing you soon. This is Dr. G, take care.